might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My all right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post as much as possible. I usually make videos of my 2000 Toyota MR2 Spider K24 swap, um, but I recently picked up this 2004 Acura TSX that I recently introduced to the channel. And I wanted to do a quick build walkthrough of what I have so far and my future plans with it, of course. Um, it's really hot, so if you hear me breathing hard, that's why I'm gonna stay in the shade here. Um, so. 2004 Acura TSX, they made this car 2004, 2008 in the US. Um, in, the, in every other market, it's the Core Type S or the Core Euro R, you can get both of those. Um, I picked up this car with some of the mods already on it. This is a really clean car, obviously clean title. Right now it has 185,000 miles. Before when I got it, it had 170,000 miles. I've had it for like seven months-ish. Um, it's an A-spec, came with the OEM body kit, so the front lip, side skirts, rear lip. It came with, the previous owner did this, it did not come OEM. This is a JDM OEM um, front CL7 or CL9 headlight. I'm not sure which one it is, but I know that it's not the Euro R headlight. The Euro R had ambers. Um, this is a Type S one, and I like it better because on the blue, it has a nice bluish white um, corner light, and I think it looks really, really good on this car. Um, I rolled the fenders, got that done. I have the taillights, which I got on eBay, which I um, we'll put a link in the description below as well as that CarPlay head unit which I'll have a video coming out so in a couple days of the review of that because I had someone named I think Ben that wanted to see a review of that. Um, the wheel setup I have right now is 17 by 8.5 plus 35 Koenig hypergrams with a 235 40 17 Falcon tire on there. Um, I have it already lowered on TN coilovers, TN advanced coilovers. Um, they came with the car, I just lowered it more. You will need to uh, roll the rear fenders and the front if you want to run the setup, unless you have aftermarket control armors and you want to run a little bit of camber. But if you just straight lower it out of the box, you do need to um, roll the fenders because double wishbone, so the camber doesn't really adjust when you lower it. Luckily, well, I guess luckily and luckily, um, double wishbone handles well, but. Um, for stance people, it's not the best thing, obviously. Um, so I had those rolled. Car looks good in my opinion. It runs good. It drives well. So definitely have that. It came with the OEM fog lights as well um, that you see on there. Um, stock exhaust for now. I have the. Um, I do have like a cat delete because someone stole my catalytic converter like I mentioned in the last video. So right now, there's no catalytic converter. I'm going to be upgrading the exhaust soon, nothing too loud. I'll, up, I'll probably do a custom one with a bunch of resonators, a bunch of mufflers because I'm not going for power really with this build. It's more just for um, my daily driver because I have my other car. There's a nice 370Z right there. Other than that, the interior is really clean, like I said. Came with some drilled and slotted rotors. I think they're from StopTech, and then I have some pads in the front, and then just OEM pads in the back with the rotors. Um, Six-speed manual, of course, without focus, and the Apple CarPlay head unit, like I said. Nothing's wrong, interior is all clean, it has no rips, no tears, nothing like that. And the rear came with, like I said, that little duckbill spoiler and an A-spec um, rear lip, of course. All right, so this is the engine bay. Key 24A2, of course, this is the earlier model, so it has the 04 to 06 ECU. Um, so if you want to do Flash Pro, or anything like that, or Honda, you have to upgrade to the 07, 08 ECU. Um, but car one's good, doesn't burn any oil. Um, really, really clean. You can see those coilovers um, over there. That's how I got the engine bay. I just keep it nice and clean. Did have the new AC compressor and condenser done intake and then it has a carbon fiber add w1 heat shield to have that in the description below a lot of people have been asking about that um intake sounds good um other than that i believe the engine stock i'm not sure if the previous owner maybe did type s oil pump or whatever internally but i'm pretty sure it's just all stock it seems stock it has the stock ecu and everything like that so it shouldn't be an issue in the future i am going to be modding some things i did get a little valve cover i want to make this look nice and because it's blue i know it's not the actual blue of like a spoon um, yellow and blue color theme but 
definitely have seen blue cars with like yellow BBKs, which I'll probably get in the future, as well as their valve cover. So Charlie on the forums, um, he does really good powder coating on valve cover. So probably gonna be doing a um, spoon yellow um, gloss powder coated valve cover. It's gonna be a Honda one. And then I'm gonna have a carbon fiber spark plug cover. And then I'm gonna have an old cap and dipstick. So it'll look good on here um, with the blue and the yellow. And then um, in the future, I'll maybe, I don't know, who knows, I'll checking out a supercharged TSX this weekend. So I'll see how that is. But I wanna keep this nice and reliable. I don't wanna do crazy engine mods on it um, or do a crazy build because I don't really have a place to work on it here. I have my MR2 to do crazy power and stuff like that. I'll be doing my regular maintenance. I have I have the EM2 Civic clutch master cylinder upgrade, so no more delay valve. I just need to get Flash Pro so I can get rid of the throttle dampening and all that because it's super annoying in my opinion. Other than that, the car is great. Power steering is good. Alternator is good. You know, knock on wood or knock on wall. Hopefully it stays good. Um, did the new accelerator pedal position sensor. But other than that, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the description below. Um, this is one of the cleanest T6 I found at the time. And I only picked it up for around, I think around 5K, maybe a little bit less. So for the clean title, how clean it is with all the mods and everything like that, was really clean. And I got it from like one of those buy it, buy it now, you know, um, buy it now little dealerships or whatever, those little lots. So I got it from there. But other than that, the car is clean, has some window tint and stuff like that. I'll probably boost it up because I need to. Um, and Cali is too hot. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. Dream big and execute.